I had to go back to the convenience store I bought this from because I can't find my pen. No, unfortunately, the store did not have pen, but they had markers, and the marker I purchased seems to be of a high quality, so I'm, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> somewhat relieved. Anyway, this I've never seen before, but i got to bear in mind I don't really... Look at these Monster Mule Ginger Ale. Ginger Ale, ginseng, taring. I don't even know if the Ginger Ale is part of the name or just considered an ingredient. So when I write this in my Title, I'm probably just going to put down Monster Mule. I'm assuming it has ginger and... We'll see. Well, it doesn't smell exactly like ginger ale. But there's almost a ginger water-like presence, so I can tell this is carbonated. Yep. Definite ginger. Which, I mean, makes sense. I think ginger is considered a... Pick me up, so makes sense that a month that an energy drink will uh, contain ginger. The carbonation is weird. Like, it's not heavily carbonated, and bear in mind, it just, just might be due to the temperature. This is maybe less than five minutes out of the fridge I pulled it from at the convenience store. Like... It's not harshly carbonated, but I can't drink that much at a single time. No, again, that might be due to the temperature, but you generally speaking, it doesn't matter how cold a drink is, I can usually drink it down pretty fast, but this, not so much. Like I find I can only take about three swallows before I decide enough's enough. There's still more on the can, but I don't feel like finishing it in the video. Um, rating. As far as the flavor goes, it's pretty good. I feel a sneeze coming on. Come on. Okay, there's not a second one coming. I usually sneeze in threes. And yes, I have a handkerchief because I'm an old man, but I also use nasal snuff, so there's that. Come on. <coughs> that felt good. 
learn any writing, um... Sixty-five. If it wasn't for the smoothness or lack thereof issue, um, I probably rate it more in the low seventy, low seventies. I'm usually not a fan of ginger ale, but this I kind of like. Like ginger to me is uh, one of these one of those flavors where when I want it, I want it very badly, but I crave it maybe once every couple of years, and that's a very conservative estimate. I mean, as saying that, um, bear in mind I drink my liquor straight, but, um, and don't do this with a good bottle of whiskey, like, or a good bottle of rye, like Forty Creek or Canadian, or, um, not Canadian Club, Crown Royal. But if you have Canadian Club or Gibson's Weiser's uh, yeah, we'll cheap bottle of whiskey that, let's be honest, people buy to mix. Hey, but where? I can see this working as a mixer. Where does go? Now I know when Nunnerty Drinks first came out, there was that warning label, do not mix with alcohol. And I remember seeing the energy drinks in a convenience store do not mix with alcohol and then I go to the liquor store in the same plaza and see the exact same brand of energy drink mixed with vodka so there you go But I can see this being mixed with a low cure bottle of rye. Like, um, something like this. Though I shouldn't be, um, breaking on this whiskey too hard, too hard. I got it as a gift and, uh, you know, it's one of those things where I wouldn't buy it myself, but I drink it for free. And it is better than most of the... Actually, as far as low-budget whiskeys go, Canadian Club, yeah, I consider Canadian Club to be very low-tier. Um, Canadian Club, Gibson's, Weiser's... <coughs> That is above those, but oh well. Anyways, I feel like I've been rambling on too long. Take care, everybody. Have yourselves a good day and bye.